Jordan coming at you. Well, I gotta give you guys a little update. <laughs> here in the shitty old garage again. It's been a while, so I haven't been out here in about a week or so. Um, I'm gonna keep coming here on YouTube. I'm gonna try to put up more videos and stuff for you guys. I'm actually gonna be start doing vlogs here soon. Well, I'll start with, I guess, the Yelson prototype. I don't know if you guys, I don't think I've showed you guys this tractor. Well, that's my Gilson prototype. We got it over here. We got the frame all painted up now. The chassis down there at the wheels, they're painted up. All the parts are finished up today. These parts are just sprayed with a rattle can. And they look really good. So tomorrow that'll be the project, putting that thing together, hopefully. I don't know if I'm going to have all the nuts and bolts, so... I don't know, I might. I don't know. We'll see. So, other than that, that's that project. This piece looks really good. The runs there, yeah, I know. I'm not... I don't care. I really don't. It's a tractor. Looks good once it's done. It's done, you know. Well, anyway, another project coming soon is going to be my other Jake. My dad, last past year, he picked up a Jake. Just like my Jake right there. This one was done a couple years ago. But anywho. We're back up here. Shit stays off it. Um, He got one just like it. And we were power washing him last Monday. I was out of his house. And he goes, well. I was like, Dad, I got an idea. And I told him. And I wanted his tractor. So that's what we did. So I'll have another one of those now. But next Monday I go to his house. We're painting... The panels and all the other shit that's orange for this tractor, for the prototype. So at the same time, Friday, we're getting the trailer. I'm going to try to get the tractor he's got just like this, but it's all rusty. I want to have it stripped, primed, and painted and ready for him to go to his house. And we spray it Monday. I can spray my Jake. And then I'll have two tractors fully restored in three weeks. So yeah, other than that, I mean, you guys are familiar with the Manco. You've seen that in my videos. Manco Thunderbird, 6.5 horse, blue Predator, Greyhound engine from Arbor Freight. Um, you see my mowing tractor, my Jake. My dad actually said, you know what, you can have this one because he's got one. So I, he gave me this one. The hood's off right now because I was mowing today and I checked the oil on it and I decided to do an oil change on it. And the oil, uh, oil screw on the bottom of the on bottom of the oil pan on the engine sits under the front axle so you got to take off all the belts and all the shit in the front axle to change oil on that so that's an ordeal this gilson here is actually my dad's just the same exact one as this but the long story to how i got this one this tractor i uh was driving around last year up and AJ's Illinois Oregon AJ's Garden Tractor Jamboree and I was driving around this guy comes up to me older guy and says you know what I got the same exact tractor do you want another one and I was like yeah sure what do you want for it he's like I don't want anything well, just come get it I'm like what he's like yeah I don't want it just come pick it up I was like free you just want it gone just he's like yeah just come get it just you're a good kid and you'll use it so I did and Go get it and had a mower deck on and all the shit and rusty and pitted and well you know what that's what it looks like now it, it's come a long ways I actually had the mower deck sitting up here now if you guys can see that right there that's the mower deck sitting in the shroud the outer chute and you can see how bad it looked pretty rusty so I get it brought it home I got to change batteries fluids and parts like getting drove it around. So this year, I finally convinced myself to restore it for AJ's, to get the AJ's restored. And I did, and the guy that I got it from was there. And he looked at it, and he's like, wait a minute, that's my tractor. And I talked to him, and sure enough, it was his tractor, and he just had a tear down his eye. He was so proud of himself, and I told him what I did, and I showed him pictures. I had this thing down a bare frame. This thing was bad, man. But the uni drive right here, I did not hook it back up because I took it apart, and this pulley, as you can see right there, it's broken. It was cracked. 
it was broken in two. So I was like, what am I going to do? So I ended up welding a bead all around the whole thing. My dad's tractor over here, on the other hand, is the same exact thing. But mine was broken in two, and I just welded it up and a nice smooth bead with my welder. And it seems to work pretty good. There's only one thing left I gotta do on this tractor, or a couple things. I gotta get these clips that go on the frame and they have like a thread in it. So you put a bolt through and it holds it down. I gotta get one for there, and then on these hood, the hood latches, these hood latches normally go right here. But the problem I'm having, as you can see right there where it was, when you're we painting it, we didn't notice, but. Like, I don't, I don't go crazy on my tractors. As long as they look good and they show good, that's all that matters to me. And that's what I go for. But anyway, I wanted to do these. But Wheel Horse, they have a uh, these rubber ones. So I'm thinking if I have to shorten them up or something, I could just shorten them right here. Put a set screw bolt, cover these holes up, and then like something or rubber. Like this little latch or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anywho, back to the... You want to drive set up on this guy. This guy's the same thing. But Dad's wasn't broken. But he's got egg tires and I had to make it like his. He he, he hates it because it's like same tracker and it drives him crazy. But I picked up these tires at a swap meet this year for 20 bucks. and They're not bad. They're there. They're not horrible. There is on one of these tires. They, they look good though, you know. For what I got, shit. And you guys, you've seen the mini bike, the Baja. Same thing on this one. Governor's removed in that now. Oh, my little push more. My dad's let me use for mowing the grass. Two stroke Jacobson. That's on my channel. Um, I bought a new welder this year. Harbor Freight, 100 bucks welder. Um, this truck over here is a Lawn Ranger. I was planning on lowering it, slamming it to the ground. And while I did that, the lower, the rear end, as you can see, as I added this chunk here, it's not done yet. I I think I'm going to do this tractor yet, but I'm not sure. I might just take the motor off for a mini bike and take the tires, put a transmission on my tricycle, which, don't get me wrong, all my tractors, I still have them all, but they're not here. They're at my other dad's barn. But we're in a seven minute video here, so I'm going to hurry up here and cut this short. So there's the transmission also for the prototype. And then I've been buying a lot of different tools lately. Bought some new tools. I bought a new DA sander tool shop, 20 bucks. I'm um, in ours. Oh, what else did I buy? Oh, and then I bought a new drill lately tool shop. On the wall. What is that? I'm drawing a plate. Bandsaw. Not bandsaw. Um, Sawzaw. Dewalt Sawzaw. I got the Dewalt drill on the bottom. Drill press and shit. So, other than that going on here. We only got real long here and actually going to be moving. So hopefully we'll be out here soon. I don't know what to say, guys. Other than that going on. Well, hopefully the next couple days here. That and that should be together. So maybe we can give you guys some update. But other than that, guys. That's about it at this point. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'll keep videos coming as much as I can. And, uh... Hopefully you guys liked the video and we'll see you in the next one. See y'all later.